Now, possibly my favorite topic uh, in Outlook is rules. I've been a rule user since forever because I would rather have Outlook take care of many things for me. For you guys that have been, and gals who've been lucky enough to have an assistant working with you, they're perhaps getting uh, your, your snail mail, your paper mail, and they know where everything gets filed, what stuff you need to see, what stuff you don't need to see, and which things require your immediate attention. So let's take a look at how we use, how we put Outlook on autopilot. We talked a little bit about one thing, which is, too, when you're processing your email. Let me come back up here to the inbox. When you're processing your email as you're reading something that requires follow-up, flag it. So this is how I'm processing my, I'm my email in the morning. I get whatever I get in the inbox, and then I said, okay, I need to follow up on that. This one I need to follow up on next week, and this one I need to follow up on uh, tomorrow's good. And so I'm setting all my follow-up flags, and they are appearing here in the to-do uh, in the to-do bar. Now, a lot of you, when you got 2007, didn't much care for this area, and so you were, uh, I need to get rid of it, and you found out that you could go to view to-do bar and turn it off. I'm going to suggest that you turn it back on knowing that you can minimize it if you need to. But not only is it telling you what tasks you have, it's telling you what meetings you have upcoming. So really, when I open my email, this is where I focus, on the right-hand side of my screen. Because my rules are flagging email for follow-up. My calendar has my upcoming appointments. And that's where the most important information is. And then, of course, I go to my inbox and flag anything that's new that requires my attention. Here's a bonus. You can take an email and drag it right on top of a date on your to-do bar. Let's say on October 31st, I'm going to have a meeting about Twitter. And I'm just going to drop it there on the 31st, and it's going to create a new email. By the way, don't follow me on Twitter here. I have a different Twitter address, which is why they miss me. Um, but you'll see it actually carried the category. So let's set this for the 31st at 8 o'clock and say save and close. And let me come out to my calendar real quick on the 31st. Look at my regular calendar here on the 31st. And there is that appointment, and it shows up in purple as well. So when we're looking at my uh, my booking calendar, for example, and we'll look at it in the month view, the reason everything's showing up in different colors here is because that's how I've categorized it.